darkness is over the land. Roman soldiers brutally nail Jesus to the cross. After six hours, he breathes his last. Jesus is quickly laid to rest in a nearby tomb belonging to Joseph of Arimathea. Female followers will return after the Sabbath to properly anoint his body. A great stone is rolled across the entrance, sealing his body inside. Dawn, Sunday, the women approach the tomb, but are shocked to discover the stone rolled away and the tomb empty. There exist many myths and legends about the burial place of Jesus and the events that brought him to it. The search for the truth begins in Jerusalem in the first century. If you go to Jerusalem today, it's an absolute maelstrom of everything going on all at once and different interest groups and people jostling you in the street, and especially at the great festival times. There's a lot of political tension, a lot of military presence and so on. And uh, ironically, that actually helps us understand what it was like 2,000 years ago, uh, just change the faces and the labels a bit, and you've got a very similar situation. The spiritual center of the Jewish people for centuries, Jerusalem is conquered in 63 BCE by Roman general Pompey. By the first century of the Common Era, it is a metropolis, one of the biggest cities in this part of the world. It remains under Roman control, but the people are yearning for their freedom.